There's nothing quite like seeing the night skies above you dance with magnificent greens and purples. Whether they're still on your bucket list or you've had an incredible experience firsthand, Canadians have a love affair with the Aurora Borealis. You're looking at pictures from mid-April when the skies across parts of Western Canada were treated to a show with images captured from Edmonton to Vancouver and up to Whitehorse. All thanks to a belch from the sun called a coronal mass ejection. CMEs, as they're referred to, are large expulsions of plasma from the sun's corona. That's the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. These sun burps, as they've been called, can eject billions of tons of coronal material outwards at speeds ranging from 250 kilometers per second to 3,000. That means that some of these can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours. Now, these types of CMEs usually take place from areas in the sun with localized fields of strong and stressed magnetic flux, sunspots, uh, aka cooler regions on the sun's surface. As this charged material meets the Earth's magnetic field, much of it is blocked by our magnetic sphere. Without it, by the way, the solar wind would blow away Earth's fragile atmosphere. But during CMEs, some of the ions become briefly trapped in sort of a ring-shaped holding area in the region of our atmosphere called the ionosphere, centered around the Earth's geomagnetic poles. Here, the ions of the solar wind collide with atoms of oxygen and nitrogen from the Earth's atmosphere. The energy released during these collisions causes a colorful glowing halo around the poles. When Earth's magnetic field is disrupted, we call this event a geomagnetic storm. And while scientists can't predict exactly when a storm will occur, we know when the sun is going through a busy or a quiet period. P.S. We're in a busy period for about the next decade. And it is possible to predict when a CME will sweep past Earth's magnetic field, creating the conditions that cause storms and that could even disrupt technology. We are learning more and more about the sun's interaction with Earth every day. So stay tuned for the day Aurora forecast become as good as a three day forecast. Don't at me. Actually, please do, because now you're science smart. And if you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.